Hello. Today we're playing Cookies, uh, a sort of film grainy 90s retro horror game. Uh, seems to be quite Mary Juana themed, so. Uh, I mean, I don't know anything about this. I, I downloaded it like two, three weeks ago and was planning on doing a video on it then. Forgot about it, got busy, didn't make anything on it, but it's here now, and it, it does seem interesting. I just completely forgot to do it, so uh, let's just get right into it. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit, pigs are on all corners tonight. Proceed to open your inventory items with... Green Square can be clicked to equip or consume. Rock good. Say goodbye to yesterday. Oh, I dumbass. Not E. Or not T. Oh. So much for making a sale. The New Flesh. Topless girls, live band, escort service. Ooh, cheap wings. Where did Butch leave the key again? Um, so we gotta find... Oh! <laughs> that wasn't very hard. What did it say? Uh, via inventory prompt. Pressing I will close this prompt if you don't have said item. There we go. I'm in. At least I still got those shrooms back in my place. That'll give me something to do. Oh, a board. Oh, I can't take it. It's a spooky locale. Oh. Oh, Senku's gone. And so is Bella. 11 years old. That dog's gone. Sorry, guys. Sorry to break it to you that way. Little Caesars! Table. Oh, am I supposed to be going upstairs? That probably makes sense. An ATM. I do live in a bit of a dingy place. 401. Okay, well, that's probably 201. That'd be 301. If we're talking about floors. Hey, dude. If that blind tenant bitch is about if that blind tenant bitch is about the corpse smell one more damn time I'm gonna stick a plunger in his toilet oh yeah well we are on the the third floor so let's head up one more oh I can run all right sweet some cans this janitor's kind of shit at his job not gonna lie Ooh, a crowbar take that Riders on the storm. Mm, interesting fellow. Six. Four, three. I'm 401. There we go. Only thing we're looking forward to in this shit heap. Oh, I'm not getting evicted, so that's what matters to me. Holy cow, I'm disgusting. Can I turn my lights on? Oh. Sweet. I guess I'll just take Bob with me. <laughs> Oh, I'm quite the interesting fellow, aren't I? Ooh. Little brownie mix. Hell yeah. Wait a minute. I bet that's for drugs! Speaking of drugs. Mmm. A lot of cans of soup. Baked on grease for added flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, I'm just collecting this shit. Can I eat? Oh, I can... Crowbar equipped. Hell yeah. Stay strapped, motherfucker. There we go. That was weird. It's my turlet. Can I... How do I unequip this? There we go. Ah. Okay, that's that's a little wacky. I'm not a fan of that. There we go. Goddamn lock is still jammed. Ah, oh, this is my sweet bedroom. And my epic PC. PC. 
Got an iron board, but I guarantee you I'm wearing wrinkled clothes. Bunch of milk crates. I guess there's nothing for it then. Time to... That didn't do much. Can I quit my breakfast? I can't. What else was I supposed to be doing? Time to get high. Light them shrooms. Got anything sweet in my fridge? Ah! I have a flat polygon in my fridge. Aw, oh, sweet babe. It's a big ass cockroach. What the fuck? It's a rat! Greetings, it is I, Salvador, King of the Rats. Many a hardship has fallen onto my kingdom, and we are in dire need of your aid. If you were to be so terrible, my kin requires nourishment. Please, do feed us. Godspeed, you fabled two-legger. Tell you what, gamer, I got breakfast just for you. I apparently don't have breakfast for you. Can I not give him breakfast? Can I give him Bob? Yes, yes, very good, sire. Though we are still in need of further provisions. The children have begun to grow hungry. Go swiftly. Uh, what about breakfast? I'm- Oh! Brownies? We cannot con Inconceivable, squire. My ilk and I cannot possibly consume this rubbish. What? It's brownies! They're delicious! Can I... Can I brownie it up? Hell yeah, I can brownie it up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sweet, tasty brownies. Would you like a brownie, Rat King? Oh my, how scrumptious indeed. I can feel my paws beginning to gout. Ew. ew. Er, the younglings have been laid to rest on full stomachs too, of course. Ho ho ho. Our mischief is near, er, is near fully nursed to... Yeah, uh, hold on. He's talking weird. Our mischief is near fully nourished, dear Peon. If you may, three more gifts from thy bountiful hands should do the trick. A most joyous banquet we shall have upon your return. Fly, my steed. All right. Those are all empty. Sweet Buddha statue. God bless the USA. Sweet, tasty hole in the wall. Oh. I could do something with this hole in the wall. Goddamn lock is still jammed. Um, anything in my sweet fridge? What about my freezer? Nope. Oh, this might work. Spare change. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, Mr. Hood Bar. Hold on, what does that bottom thing say? It doesn't really taste very good at all. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Well, that's one thing. Here you go, my king. Delicious. Um, maybe I got some some vittles in here. Oh, I can see my sweet legs. I'm wearing. Am I wearing camo pants? Nice light, bro. Ah, oh, epic. I don't want to smash my computer. Like, oddly enough, that's just not in the cards for today. Uh, what if I knock open this door with the crowbar? I can't do that. Oh, I have found my way in. Oh! This motherfucker stays strapped. Oh. Okay. Can I take any of these? He's got just some grenades in front of the TV. Classic. Classic decor. Sweet. Pizza. It ain't easy being cheesy. Ooh. <laughs> Red pills. <laughs> Supposed to give you a few extra inches, but just makes you a huge dick. wonder if the Rat King wants a large wiener. <laughs> Uh, 
creep barricaded the bathroom. Yeah, well, I'm surprised he didn't shoot me when I walked in if he's in here. Alright. Well, that's two things for... Actually, maybe he wants to eat the, the dick pills. I don't know. Oh, dear king, would you like some penis pills? Oh, I can take them. Eh, sure, what's the harm? I'll take... Literally nothing happened. <laughs> oh, okay. Entry prohibited. Actually, come on. Can we have a crowbar? Entry is never prohibited. Entry's prohibited. What if... What about just, like, regular doors? Oh! Oh, I bet I need the janitor's key. Which maybe I can get by mashing his little head in. That might work. Oh, janitor. Let me... Oh, jeez. Just the man I was looking for. Hell yeah. Thanks, janitor. That's why you and I are true boys. Oh. That... <laughs> you know, that'll cost you about, uh... $255,000 per month in California. Doors boarded up. Uh... I'm just gonna come back to you guys later. Lock slightly busted. Oh, lock slightly busted. I can get in there. Ha bonk. Oh. Okay. Uh. Got any morsels? Got any little vittles for me, dude? Oh, sweet potato chips. Credit card. Uh. Ooh. I laid. Uh. Ooh. They took his eye. I mean, not that you can tell. Hmm. Shoddy hand job. Oh, uh, it's out of batteries. I'm just gonna let you do your thing. Uh, let's get this food back to the Rat King. He might have something interesting for us to learn about. And I did kill the janitor, so let's go in here, too. Is Mela cool happening guy? Arsenic. Make, make the stitches scatter. Oh. I might be able to merc the Rat King. I don't want to kill the Rat King. He seems like a cool dude. Oh. Howdy, Rat King. How you guys doing? How about some hot... Sui sanguidium bimius corpus edimus ad superficium in a kind of... cannabis exurgent. Ho ho ho, good labor, my, dr my drudge. You fucker called me a drudge? With your sublime intervention, we have finally enacted the sacred rite of sacrifice. For years, we spent our miserable rodent lives within the confines of this building, starving away or gassed to death if lucky. All we needed was something, someone to do what our minuscule paws could not. Upon good fortune did we unearth a lowly fr uh, fiend with nothing else to do but obey the rodents in his haziest mind, conjured with his vegetables, someone depraved enough to set forth our macabre notion. We required just the flesh of a soul rat queller, and that you uh, and that you granted us, and it only took a few free meals to fabricate your devotion. Gather the fleas, the profane rat coven of Salvador the Plagued lives to scurry on another day. Our plan commences at once. We will reclaim this planet for ourselves as if it was the bu bubonic age. Fly, my carriers, fly! Rat, rat, oh my fuck you. Rats off to you, you fine poison peddler. Son of Saul, the, the three piece is now permanently unlocked. There's a knocking at your door, but you ignore it. As the knocking ceases, you hear a paper being shuffled under the doorway. Return. 
Threads? What is this? The son of Saul is far more interested in showing off its knowledge of movie lore and making random jokes than providing consistent entertainment. Unfortunately, it's at its funniest and best when it's at its most gruesome. When not hitting those stride, those it struggles to, dis yeah, to distinguish itself from an another B-movie creature feature of its time. S. Baker. Does that say a pox on all your houses? A pox on all your houses. Alright, cool. Well, that's one ending. I'm guessing there's quite a few. Might as well go back and get them. Am I... Okay, I am without... Alright. So, money. Defective metal. Let's not get high. Let's go talk to... Stinky Jim, or whatever the fuck his name was. And, uh... Buy the circus ticket. See what the clown wants. Hey, dude. How's it going? Did I do that right? What if I just stand right on top of him and then drop it? Letter under door circuses in town. Oh, I forgot to check under my door. Okay, what's going on? There we go. Can I take that? Oh, did I screw it up by dropping that on the floor? I think I did. Oops. Oops. I, and I dropped that too. Oops. All right. Well, I guess we're not talking to him this time. Hi, Mel. All right. Well, I guess let's go check under the door. Oh, there it is. Cult pamphlet. Children of the Shine, achieve your attunement in room 302. Mm -hmm. Found out where we're going next because I'm stupid and dropped that money on the floor. Let me in. Oh, goodness. Got quite the room here. Hey, you. Ah, you finally arrived. I'm relieved to know you received our message. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Father Huxley, and this congregation is our sacred covenant, the Children of the Shine. Many eons ago, a car galactic car cartographer and later prophet, <laughs> known to our human tongues as Samlet, or Semet, Samlet, bestowed upon us a cosmic wisdom far beyond our greatest reach. G spoke to us about an impending rapture set to demolish all forms of life as we know it in the most biblical of proportions. But there was hope. Samet spoke of a celestial vessel known to, uh, to circle the stars every other millennia with the purpose of rescuing those deemed spiritually touched to live on the utopian spacecraft Yos 7. And yet, due to the secular ignorance of flesh and bones, Samet's message spell fell upon deaf ears and was lost for millennia. That is, until a man by the name of Jebediah B. Hutchins was shown the forbidden knowledge of Earth's ticking clock, designated as a prophet by Semet himself, Hutchins founded the church in 1957. Since its inception, the Children of the Shine have offered spiritual attunement and align aligning to those who seek it, all in order to rete yeah, redeem our one-way ticket to paradise upon the rapture. Which leads to you, yes. As it turns out, Samet's revelation has come sooner than any of us expected. Don't you feel it? In your vibrations, in your core... The earth is dying and taking all the, who, all who remain tethered to it. We want to give you a chance to shed your human, humanly shackles and live among the stars with the rest of us. Interested? We know you would be. We must act quick, though. It won't be long before this planet is but a memory, and there is still much left to do before we can induct you into our family. Before we begin, a modest deposit is required before we can divulge our teachings. We accept all forms of payment. Be seeing you. I see. Uh... I know where we can get some big money, big boy money. Okay, so the ATM didn't work, so we'll have to move on with that. Well, I couldn't interact with it at all, so it's got to just be the straight uh, credit card. Here, sir, take this credit card. Pleasure doing business with you. The business of retribution, that is. You've done well. You've shown you're willing to part ways with the corrosive possession of material wealth. I could see it now. A super 
super, uh, superfluous celestial soul cluster in the making. Samet has great plans for you. We must go further, though. Your pockets are lighter, th thus your soul is too, yet I can still feel this subconscious weight dragging your very core down to the depths. Go direct yourself to our confessional booth. Seek with one of our clergy members and detox your being of that which grounds you to this humanly prison. I will be here when you return. Okay. I was told there'd be cute church girls in here. Alas, it appears I'm too far down the hole now. I'm... Um, yeah. Clergy members only. In the name of the ninth archon of creation in the 17 corners of the galaxy, what brings you here today? Huxley told me you were seeking confession. Would thou... S would thou like to live deliciously? This is simply another step in preparing you for life among the cosmos. First, confess your wrongdoings to me, any and all that you feel staining your very soul. I see. Do not fret, brother, for it only comes naturally to break the divine laws set forth by Semet. He, too, knows this, and only asks that we wash our fleshy hands before him in asking for forgiveness. Lastly, as Huxley mentioned, you are in the process of abandoning your earthly shackles. Through your so Though your soul is much cleaner, I can sense you gripping to the remains of your humanly possessions. Going forward, we must strip you of your flimsy holdings. It serves you no purpose upon Yost 7 and you have or we have no need for it it will only serve to hold us back and drive us away from Semet's light with your transgressions absolved and your dead weight detached we have finished confessional report back to Huxley dear brother to be seeing you all right what's up my boy I'm feeling mighty clean my jubilant star child, do you now feel the inner peace? Welcome to the family, dear brother. You have done well. Samet is most pleased with you. And on and with that, our final hour shall approach soon. Before we depart for your seven, I must delegate a few simple tasks for you. First, you must you may have been unaware, but the children of the shine have been hosts to much media scrutiny. Slandering us as a scam, some going as far in, other, in the other direction as death cult. Unsurprisingly, it has brought the attention of the misaligned law enforcement, resulting in an increased surveillance and attempt at stopping our seraphic, seraphic pilgrimage. I can't read any, like, G Jesus words, man. Unjust and unrighteous is the man who willingly denies the galactic enlightenment, she says. Which is exactly what I expect those pigs to do. We must take precaution to ensure the exact opposite happens. Brother, I ask that you equip us with explosives as a means of quelling the heretics and defending ourselves. Don't fret, my liege. Through our flesh may perish, our cause will remain ready to be swept like fish in a net upon Semet's arrival. Find yourself a lead pipe lying around. When you do, there's a rather overzealous fellow on your floor who probably has a workbench. Use that to turn your lead pipe into a pipe bomb. When that's done, return to me at once. Time of the essence be seeing you. Hmm. All right. Dun, dun. All right, well, I know who the overzealous fellow is, and I have the lead pipe, so. Oh, I gotta bust it with the crowbar. Whap. Do you got a workbench for me? Sure do. Time to turn it into a pipe bomb. Did I just throw it? Oh, no, I swung it. Okay. Um, oh, shit. I dropped my crowbar. Where'd it go? Oh, well, I hope I don't need that anymore. Because I accidentally just dropped it. Alright, well, I figured it out. There we go. Pipe bomb. Alright, well, I guess let's go give this pipe bomb to this cult. There is nothing dangerous about that. Always give pipe bombs to cults. Here you go. Pipe bomb. 
Samed extends his gratitude to you. The artillery you've supplied will allow us to defend ourselves against those Philistines. You've given up your money, your possessions, and risked punishment from the long arm of the law. There's no doubt in my mind you are deeply committed to a life beyond this planet. I think it is time. In the confessional booth, you will find the conduit you use to communicate with the celestial few. The Children of the Shine grants you divine permission to travel amongst the stars. Bear witness to the wonder of Samet's grace. Take it, consume it, and allow Samet to shatter your sheltered view of the universe's workings. Oh, sweet. What did I get? I got nothing. Oh! I got Kool-Aid. Not a death cult at all. <laughs> oh, it's cruel aid. Oh. I'm Jones and man. Oh. Hey. What's up, funny goat? Oh, can I, can I go back home? Sweet, f funky, fresh little alien goat. I drank the Kool-Aid, guys, and I'm not dead, hell yeah. Ah, it seems you've returned. Oh, you saw Samet? Well, of course, you have ascended after all. What's that? You couldn't make out his speech? Well, uh, that makes sense. You know, you've become spiritually aligned thanks to us. It seems you've yet to master the language of the cosmos. Tell you what, by push it, push, uh, pushing your body to its very limit, one can probably come to understand Zim. After all, the abandonment of your humanity and body, or humanly body and spirit, is what brings you closest to our beloved lord. It appears your dosage was not enough to fully understand him. We need something stronger. I know! Arsenic! If this complex has a storage for cleaning supplies somewhere, they're bound to have that crucial ingredient. When you find it, mix it with our drink. Use as much as you have on you. That should banish the fragile land language barrier between us and salvation. May she always be watching. Be seeing you. Blech. Nasty fucking cult bastard. I'm gonna smack Mel. Hey, Mel. Oh. Oh, I need the crowbar. God damn it. Let's go see if I can find it. Get the fuck out of the way, Mel. I'm gonna beat you again. I'm gonna beat you again, but... Uh, God damn it. First I dropped the change and messed that up. Now I've... Dropped the crowbar. It's not even the game's fault. Alright. There's... I hope it's in here. Please be in here somewhere. What did I drop? I dropped it over here. So one would think it would be over here. Oh. Cocksack. Um... I'm gonna go back to where I first found the crowbar, and if it's not there, then I will reset the day, and I will run it back and meet you guys back here. Alright, I'm back, and I now have the crowbar. We're back to where we were, so now we can... Or, I don't even need to smack the crowbar. I got Mel's keys. I killed Mel. So, uh... Now, we can get our hands on uh, the arsenic and then drink it and die <laughs> there we go come here big daddy yoink chunty yo what's up my guy I got the arsenic I okay yeah. So is that all I had to do there? So I drank it now. Now I've drank the Kool Aid again. K 
can we conversate now? Because I drank the arsenic. Where to? Oh, looks like I'm finally coming through to you now. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sumet, ninth archon of creation, as your things say. Alright, I know you were probably expecting some alias Jesus type shit, but you really expect a bunch of finger painting namaste folk to get all the details right? Hate to break it to you, bud, but yeah, you fell for it. This whole shining children crap is just a scam. Salvation subscription model, I should uh, should have been just been a dead giveaway. Spaceship, yaw seven? Fuck is that, lamau? There is no rapture coming, at least not to my knowledge. That's all from some, or that's all from some hack job sci-fi novel Huxley couldn't get off the ground. I don't even know if Huxley buys the shit he's selling, but whether he knows it or not, he managed to send one of us or one of his delegates to the cosmos to meet his deities. Deity, deity, the one he doesn't even believe in. That brilliant idi idiot. Though I must say, I'm quite impressed you actually managed to make it here, wherever here is. Honestly, thought that rat poison would have turned your lungs to paste by now. Yet here you are. Guess Huxley won't have any copper to take off your eyelids now. I suppose you should be compensated for the hoops that quack made you jump through. Hmm. Oh, I've got it. Return to where you came from. I bestowed you with quite the gift. Be seeing you. Ooh. Thanks. Uh, whatever your name was. Samet? Summit. Tell me. <gasps> They're dead! You got them, Samet. Samet. They all drank it. The cool ad. Oh, is that just the end? That's the end. Okay. Heaven's front porch. After numerous complaints, junk collectors finally got around to picking up the trash around room 303. Uh, how many are there? Ten? Okay. Tell you what. We'll do one more, and we'll call it for this episode. Uh, we'll come back another time and do some more. Uh, and I might just leave some of these for, uh, you guys to discover on your own. This is a pretty neat game. There's quite a bit to do here. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's do one more. Why not? I want to see the clown. Here you go. I will take the circus ticket. That allows access to that weird clown room on the third floor. No, no, I don't have any more money for you. I wonder if I can give him the credit card and take everything. Wayne's World? Meth Clown. <laughs> That's another dead guy. See, there were a lot of beakers around. There's a lot of chemicals, and these guys are wearing hazmat suits. I think this is a meth lab. We gotta get out of here! Is he coming? I found the horror. I found the scary. You good in there, dude? Will you come out of here? Oh, I think he's stuck. Are you are you chill? You have a hammer. I feel like you're not chill. Uh, I also feel like I might have caused a problem. You like my white guy beatbox rapping? Oh shit! You know, you don't seem like a half bad guy. You seem like a goofy fellow. Ow! Ow! Check this out. Get get absolutely juked, moron. I ain't afraid of no clown. 
I'm afraid of a clown. Do 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 pizza. Dang. Dang, Wayne, you've. Oh shit! Hi. Oh, that scared me. Oh, you can walk through those. I can't walk through those. That's bull. Why can you walk through those? I don't know what I'm looking for. This clown's scary as hell. Hear music. I wonder how many wax I can take before the clown kills me. That guy got crucified by buzz saws. That probably sucks. Oh, I made it. Oh, he's alive. I don't know what brought you here, but you need to leave right now. Or did you not take note of all the corpses? Those poor sons of bitches. That sick fuck's gotta find you. And he's gonna off you with whatever the fuck he's got on him. Just yesterday, he was about to ship a huge sale. And this dumpy looking clown came knocking. He was talking about this some candy, f or this candy's for the kids. And wanted us to hand over the product for nothing. We probably told him to pay up or piss off. Ha, huh? the nerve. Man kicked us. Man kicked over a table and started stabbing motherfuckers. Pulling out daggers and hammers and shit. He found a way to screw around with the door before we left him in. We were locked in from the outside. No way out. Turned the whole damn lad into some Swiss circus game. Yeah, he thought of this shit was fun. Look, whatever you're here for, dope, cash, take it. I don't care. Just get your ass out of here before he starts making balloon animals out of your entrails. Oh, he's dead. Yo. A dragon. Party cannon. Can I equip that? It's like a it's like a shotgun friendship friendship shotgun. Oh hell yeah. I'm gonna kill a motherfucker with this. That didn't do anything. Okay, this thing sucks. Uh I went from Doomslayer to Coomslayer. Get me out of here, man! Okay, you come here. You come over this way. Oh, I got him! I actually did kill him. Clown key, time to leave. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, forget what I had said about the Coom Slayer. I am the Doom Slayer. I would like to leave, though. This place is gross and creepy. Wow, okay, that took way less time to get out than it took to get in. And that's what they call the real victory of man. The final circus. The lock to your bathroom door is now fixed. With the resident meth dealers taken out, the Orange Glove ha Grove houses crave the business of a new distributor. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cookies for now. Uh, I mean, there's still so many endings to do. So, uh, I mean, I don't think it's a question whether I'll come back to this. I definitely want to keep going with this. This is a very interesting game. Now the bathroom door is unlocked. That's probably pretty cool. Uh, but I might as well read these two to you before I go. And, uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely get the rest of the endings, though. Like I said, uh... A blatant cash-in on the clown sighting scares from the latter half of the decade. All the typical elements one would expect from a budget John Gacy fanfic run amok in this dreary 90-minute offering. Even worse, the film sheepishly restrains itself to a PG-13 audience despite its etchy veneer, surely to secure a bag, <laughs> secure a bag from its eager audience of preteen moviegoers. This circus was better off skipping town. Sources say the tape was one of many recruiting initiatives of the now defunct Ch Children of the Shine sect. Featuring testimonials from the late founder Je Jebediah B. Hutchins, the tape was said to recount Hutchins' doomsday prophecy by way of a deity known as Semet. Three months after the cult's mass suicide, investigations are still underway to uncover the full extent of their activity in Darby. Yeah, well, that's this episode of Cookies, and, uh, 
I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.